Hi, this is Colton from WhiplashPC.com. Today we have the Antec Neo uh, eco-friendly 620 watt power supply. Uh, it's a 620C, which means continuous power, uh, eco-friendly because it does not include a power cord. If you're buying this power supply, you better have a power cord ready or you might be upset when you get everything except for your power cord. Power cords are very cheap and you probably have one laying around the house because your TV uses pretty much a similar uh, power cord type if you're using an LCD flat panel and uh, there's this, you can use your old power cable off your computer uh, that shouldn't be an issue you might want to check and make sure it's capable so you don't fry your power cable I've done that before and it sends a spark through your computer and it's not a fun thing I'm not lying that did happen and uh, it's something I don't want to relive but uh, as you can see yeah, the power rating on this on the 12 volt rail is 48 amps on 620 watt power supply that's actually pretty good it's got a quiet 120 millimeter fan so we're going to go ahead and open it up in here, it says it includes uh, two four pins, it looks like, two six plus two pins, that's PCI Express power, uh, includes a floppy drive connector, and it includes five serial ATA connectors. We'll go ahead and open it up and see what we got here. Uh, it just goes in in different languages than that. It's actually a pretty heavy power supply. It has screws, as you can see. There's really nothing to it bolting. Take this out here, put this up here. Antec is known for having very high quality power supplies. I've never heard any complaints about Antec really from what I know of. They use high quality components inside all their parts and they have very nice products usually. This one looks also very nice for being eco-friendly. It has a nice paint job. It's completely silver. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. It's not like a silver that comes out of an old machine. It's just like an antique silver which looks very nice. On the side it says Neo Echo, Eco, but uh, 620 continuous power. It shows the ratings. You can zoom up on that so you can see the ratings and you can pause it there if you want to later and see what you have. But the main thing that most people want to know is uh, what's the 12 volt rail? And that is 48 amps on this power supply. On down here you see the Antec 120 millimeter fan. It's a pretty heavy power supply for a power supply wise. It's about 6 to 7 pounds I would probably say. Maybe more, maybe less. I'm not weighing these things on a scale. I'm going by hand. So it could be more or less. But it feels about hmm, 5 to 7 pounds, somewhere in that range. As you can see, we have the Molexes. And we have the SATA connectors. Um, where's the 24 pin on here? There's one. Or, here it is. The 24 pin connection. And as I said, um, you can look online. But from what I know, is what I see here. And it says it includes a 24 pin. It includes a 4 plus 4 pin, which is the 8 pin. Includes two PCI Express X16 or X16 capable power supply or graphics cards. I can't talk tonight, but um, as you can see, if you want to check it out, you can go to the site. It's the Antec Neo 620 watt continuous power supply. It's a pretty high quality power supply from the feel of it. I'll run it around and I'll post in the description below on how it runs and if I have any cons with it. So be sure to check that out. All right, here's the power supply. It's very quiet. I'm going to go around to the back of it. As you can see, it does have a little bit of air coming through. You can probably hear it, but uh, it's pretty quiet. There's pretty cold to the touch. It's not too hot. It's just lukewarm. It doesn't get much uh, colder than that, I would say. But uh, running good. Everything seems to be powering fine. I got two 520 video cards in here, NVIDIA GeForce, uh, an X4840 processor up behind there. Uh, I'm running a new AMD Series uh, 9 uh, chipset on this ASUS motherboard. I believe it's a 970 chipset on this ASUS M5A79, I believe it is. Yes, it's the M5A79. Um, it's running good, though. Everything's fine so far. No power issues. Everything's running fine. Hey, thanks for viewing this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the thumbs up below and subscribe above. Thank you.